counting double digit thousands. Facts. Yo, what is going on guys and welcome to Marvel Ultimate Alliance. This is a game that came out in 2006 and I wanted to play it and I wanted to go ahead and do an LP on it. This is definitely a change of pace from my previous three Let's Plays which have been all God of War. I didn't really plan for them all to be God of War, it's just that's just kind of the way it happened. I was really into God of War, I got PlayStation Now, I had the chance to play Ascension in the original. I'm gonna hold off on playing 2 and the PSP games just because... I don't know. I don't want to just upload fucking God of War and finish that entire series. So, something a little change of pace is this game. This is a very, very fun hack and slash Marvel game with a ton of characters, man. Um, I have a little bit of experience with this. I really only played Marvel Ultimate Alliance when I was a little bit older. Not that much older than uh, when I played X-Men Legends, which was basically the same thing as this game, but it was only X-Men characters, and I played that with my dad a lot. And I believe I played that when I was pretty young, and then I played Ultimate Alliance in like 2009 or something. So I was like 9, 10 years old. And um, after that, I got it as a HD remaster on PS4. Played halfway through it, never finished it. I don't remember the story at all, so I must not have paid that much attention. So let's go ahead and start this up, man. I'm excited. I'm definitely excited to play with all these different characters, because that's the whole thing about this game. Just playing with a bunch of different characters that... Either you love or you just have fun playing with. So let's go ahead and get this started, man. Unfortunately, you cannot play on hard. I was going to pick hard mode because this game really isn't that tough. But um, I guess you need to beat it on normal to unlock hard difficulty. Kind of weird, but I don't know. Let's go with it and let's do it. What the hell is going on? Where's our air support? Get those forward guns going. Why aren't those rear batteries firing? Somebody get General Wilson on the horn! General Fury. Doom, I'll have your head for this. I have little time for your petty threats, Colonel. Surrender your ship now, or I shall destroy it. Not on my watch. This is a priority alert to all metahumans. UN and Alpha request immediate assistance. Thor, take care of those gunships. Spider-Man, draw them towards the stern. Sure thing. I just love being the target. Wolverine, you do it, Boy Scout. I don't take orders from you. Ferry to Staten Island. some help. <laughs> that dude scares me. God, how I wish I could see Hugh Jackman and Tom Holland actually interact. So, <laughs> as I was saying, my previous, like, um, I don't know, encounters with this type of game is really only X-Men Legends, which was only X-Men characters, and I always 
always, always played as Wolverine. That is easily one of my favorite superheroes, if not my favorite. Well, my favorite's always been Spider-Man. I mean, ever since I was a kid, that was my first superhero movie I ever watched. Um, I loved the games growing up, played all of them. Just Spider-Man has always been my favorite. Um, but Wolverine, I think he's a close second. I don't usually, like, rate superheroes. I don't know why I'm hitting that thing. Got it. Um, I don't know, like, uh... Actually, I just... God damn it, I lost my train of thought. That's something I do a lot. If I regain my train of thought, I'll talk about it again. But, okay, I just remembered. <laughs> Fucking A, I do that so much. Um, Wolverine is easily one of my favorite superheroes. But I just don't usually rank my favorite stuff. I usually have one favorite, and then I have a lot of, you know, close favorites or guys that I like just because I'm terrible at ranking, you know, my favorite, favorite superheroes and shit like that. So... Um, Wolverine is definitely up there because he's just so badass, man. He's so badass. Spider-Man, he's relatable. And then Deadpool's one of my favorites for, I mean, he obvious. He's just the fucking Merc with the Mouse. He, he, I can't talk. Merc with the Mouth, he's a fucking badass. I mean, you can't, you can't argue that. And Ryan Reynolds is amazing as Deadpool. So, uh, again, I just really, the only, um, time I've really played a game like this was X-Men Legends. So, other than that... This is really just a hack and slash game that you don't really need to put too much thought into. I just want to have a lot of fun playing this because I want to play with all these different characters and hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. I'm sure at least some of my viewers will have played this game. So if any of you have, be sure to let me know what characters you have used and what characters you prefer to use and I'll definitely uh, use them. I can't wait till we get to the point where we can actually change our team because I want to put some different guys in. Is I didn't really like Thor in this game. But then again, I did play it when I was younger. And Thor, I always thought he was kind of a boring character until the movies came out. And uh, now I really like Thor a lot. Like, Thor Ragnarok is probably my favorite MCU movie. I've seen every MCU movie other than Infinity War. So, I'm kind of scared to see Infinity War, to be honest. Just because I've heard some crazy things. And mainly just, just it's emotional and shit. And... Uh, I don't know, man. I'm kind of scared to watch it. I don't want anybody to die that I really like. I don't want anybody to die, period, but I'm assuming that's what the fuck's gonna happen. And here's Scorpion. Now, I remember Scorpion when I played this initially. He was just a mini-boss. The first mini-boss you face. Or face. The Masters of Evil. That's a kind of a goofy name, to be honest. That's the best part of all. We're led by the man himself. Doctor Doom, if you only knew. Cause Doom's got a plan that's gonna shake the heavens. You wanna get tough, punk? Good. Cause so do I. So, th that's what I fucking forgot, is that Doctor Doom is actually the main villain in this game. I don't know how the fuck I forgot that. That's how little I paid attention to the story, obviously, when I played this through the first time. I actually really like that they did that, because this was kind of like... I mean, this was coming off the 2005 Fantastic Four movie, which pretty much flopped. Nobody liked, except for me. I, I I know, don't judge me. That's a guilty pleasure movie for me. I really like it. I thought it was awesome. I don't know why. Chris Evans is the Human Torch. Just was awesome. But um, I thought it was interesting that they did that. I thought it was cool, because I actually really like Victor Von Doom as a character. I think he's pretty interesting, but just, well, the fucking second movie, my god. Um... I never watched the Fantastic Four with, like, uh, Michael B. Jordan and... I can't remember what that other guy's... Michael... Or, no, Teller? I, I think that's his last name or something like that. I never watched that one because it just looked so, so bad, man. And it got terrible reviews. Everybody hated it. Never bothered to watch it, but... I'm sure it's way, way worse than the 2005 version. But anyway, as I was saying, just Ultimate Alliance going with Victor Von Doom I thought was pretty cool because he is an interesting villain. Um, and I think it's cool they didn't go with anybody that's really overused, which at this point, I mean, when this game came out, I don't know if anybody's really overused, but just the characters that were insanely popular like Venom. I'm pretty sure Venom is actually in this game from what I can remember. Um... I know they had some DLC characters. Maybe he was a DLC character. I know that Hulk was not an original character in this game. Like, he wasn't playable, but DLC made him a playable character. So, hopefully we can use Hulk. I don't know if we have him unlocked or not. I'm not exactly sure how unlocking characters 100% goes. 
Thanks I think you have a lot of them unlocked so quickly. at the beginning. The helicarrier is under attack by a group of supervillains called the Masters of Evil. And to make matters worse, they're led by Victor Von Doom. My thoughts exactly. It's not important. I told you it's not important. It's the same thing in comics, in fucking movies, in fucking TV shows. They do not tell you shit. We're getting attacked. We need to call you in to save this shit. We're not even going to tell you what's going on. The same thing. The oh, Black Widow. The Masters of Evil have activated the launch cycle of our nuclear missiles. I need help if they are to be stopped. Help is on its way, Black Widow. Fury out. Team. Just one of those missiles could level an entire city. Failure is not an option. You have to get to the launch bay and stop them. It's kind of interesting that in pretty much every iteration of, like, uh, Natasha Romanoff or Black Widow, like, not live action because there's only been one of course but she's russian and she has a russian accent but scarlett johansson never even tried it i don't think or maybe she just couldn't pull it off or i don't know but um i think it would have been kind of cool so now we can change the team so let's see what characters we have unlocked man Ooh, ooh, we have a lot okay okay so use this menu to manage your heroes when you have skill points or shield credits so spend press the details button to enter the hero details menu cool so who do we have unlocked here uh, I definitely want to replace Thor. I never liked Thor in this game. We have a lot of people. So we're still missing some. Venom is in this game. We can use Venom. I feel like it's a little bit too early to use Venom. I still want to be... I don't know. A little bit... We have Doctor Doom unlocked? Maybe he was DLC or something. No, I feel like you would be able to play as him eventually. I don't know. Uh, Moon Knight? Moon Knight I really liked, actually. I thought he was cool. I remember when uh, I first got introduced to him... It was in Spider-Man Web of Shadows. He was pretty badass in that. Uh, okay, so there's Hulk. I want to use the uh, the Human Torch, actually. Let's the put the Human Torch, torch in. Uh, I want to keep Wolf. Oh, we got to put Deadpool in. But fuck, who do I replace? I'm pretty sure people said Spider-Man isn't really a great character in this game, and Captain America is a really good character in this game. Do they have uh, they have alternate costumes? Damn it, they're all locked. Okay. So we can't get those yet. So he has shield throw. And I don't know who I want to replace. We got to put Deadpool in though, right? I mean, you just have to. You know what? Maybe we'll just... Uh, we'll only replace one character. We'll put... Deadpool. Uh, Human Torch in later. This is a pretty good team right here. We got Captain America, who I believe is one of the best characters in this game. Spider-Man, who I just like. I always thought he was cool, but people... Eh, it was kind of mixed opinions on him. Deadpool is just a fan favorite. You got to have Deadpool. He's awesome. And Wolverine is probably my favorite in this game. Or just when I remember playing it, he's just really badass. And he has like a lunging attack and stuff like that. And of course, it's it's Wolverine. I mean, how can you not like Wolverine? So, uh, yeah, I think we'll rock with Wolverine, Deadpool, Spider-Man, and Captain America. Let's go do some superhero stuff. Yeah, man. I like it. So... Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how long I want to make these videos. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to stop saying that. Because I end up just making the videos however fucking long they end up being. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually end this one here. Because this is kind of the intro to the series. And um, I, I kind of want to know what people's reactions are to this. You know, depending on if I even get any comments on this video or what the views are or whatever. Regardless, I want to finish this game because I never finished it. And I definitely want to get through it. It is a pretty lengthy game though. So maybe... uh. I don't know, maybe I'll try to finish it with, like, recording a bunch of episodes in bulk and then try to get to another Let's Play to upload, like, two at one time. Just so it's not the same game over and over again. But then again, I, I kind of like doing one Let's Play at a time just because it's, you know, once one starts, you know I'm going to end it and then start another one right after that. So, I don't know, I always like that. I feel like too many Let's Plays at once is kind of weird. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry about me rambling, but we showed off the characters a little bit, what ones I have unlocked. Um, I'm not really sure what other ones. I'm assuming the other ones are just story unlocked, so we'll end up using them at some point. But we only added Deadpool to the team, so next episode, it will be kind of the Deadpool debut. So we'll see how he does and uh, see what his like his moves are and stuff, because I don't really remember. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed part one. Be sure to leave, leave me some feedback. Uh, it would be definitely appreciated whether it's constructive criticism or just, you know, stuff about this game. If you like this game as a kid or anything like that. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I'm out. Peace.